Hey there! My name is Rabia, and today we'll be looking at some incredible facts, contributions, and achievements of Islamic scholars. I bet you didn't know just how their contributions to science, technology, and medicine have helped to shape the world as we know it today. In today's episode, we look at the life and works of Abu Rayhan Muhammad ibn Ahmad al-Biruni. Ready? Let's go! Abu Rayhan Muhammad ibn Ahmad al-Biruni was an Iranian scholar and polymath. His main interests were geology, physics, anthropology, and astronomy. Al-Biruni was born on September 5, 973, in a place called Khwarezm, that is modern-day Uzbekistan. He had studied throughout his childhood and had knowledge on various topics. During his teenage years, Al-Biruni gained a lot of knowledge on science, and by the end of the 10th century, he had calculated the latitude of the city Kat, where he lived. Throughout the 10th century, he wrote on many topics, but unfortunately most of his work is lost. However, one of his books on maps called Cartography survived. He studied a lot about science and he figured out seven different ways to determine which directions are north and south. He also found mathematical systems to pinpoint the beginning of each new season. In his work, al Qanun al-Masudi, he put together all the scientific knowledge he had gained from his readings and observations. Al-Biruni wrote a book called Elements of Astrology. He thought that astrology was very important and half of his book comprised of teaching astronomy, mathematics, geography, and chronology. Al-Biruni also wrote a book about everything he had learned in India from its culture to its customs, rituals, and religions. Al-Biruni was the first person to conduct experiments related to astronomy. He observed and described the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse. He discovered that gravity exists in heavenly bodies and celestial spheres. This caused him to refute Aristotle's theory, which claimed that there was no gravity in such bodies. Al-Biruni died in 1050 in Ghazni, Afghanistan. For centuries after Al-Biruni's death, his work was not built on or referenced. However, hundreds of years later, his books became read and referenced again in the West. A lunar crater and an asteroid were also named in his honor. I bet you didn't know a lot of these facts, did you? Which surprised you? Would you like to add something to this list of findings? We would love to hear from you. Remember to stay subscribed to Toffee TV. Thanks for watching. There's always something new at Toffee TV. Like and share tons of videos. Subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Toffee